everybody for actually joining us this afternoon. Uh, like I always tell you all, I'm not going to be there, <laughs> be here long. I'm not. I'm not going to be here very long today. Um, um, like I say, uh, I, I'm, I'm enjoying the, the summertime and, uh, and being out, being able to cook on the grill, get out and do some walking, spend some time with my family. So uh, up until then, until uh, till, uh, the weather uh, starts to cool off a little bit, um, I'm going to be doing a, a, a little shorter live. Well, you all know today is the, uh, uh, is the last day that you'll be able to get the appliance boot camp the way it currently been for the last several years, where you can get it as a bundle, or you can get uh, <coughs> you can get them as a bundle, and you can get them um, at a, a, a cheap price. <laughs> uh, we had it as low as fifty dollars a month, uh, five hundred dollars, fifty dollars a month, and uh, that price is actually uh, is, is going up. It's no longer going to be able to stay there. Um, as you all see, I'm back here um, in my actual ice cream shop. Uh, back here in the back and what this really is is one of the reasons why I had to go up on that price and had to change the actual uh, structure of appliance boot camp uh, what I figured out I, I, I actually uh, I actually built the manufacturing facility <laughs> so what you're seeing you're seeing me standing uh, sitting out here uh, on, on the manufacturing floor um, I, I, they gave me enough time to let me figure this ice cream thing out and um, uh, I figured out how to make a great product. I figured out how to actually uh, uh, go out and not only be able to, uh, to to rent the buildings and stuff. I don't believe in renting the building. I figured out how you can go buy the buildings um, and, um, and 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 get the buildings at a cheap price. Use use your appliance boot camp uh, appliance boot camp to actually pay for it. And the skill set you get from appliance boot camp allow you to go out and get these uh, get these machines for little or nothing uh, like i said these machines like forty thousand a piece and you're gonna buy them brand new um the skill set that i teach you in appliance boot camp you can go get them for less than three or four thousand dollars and repair them and you have uh you have a, a actual uh a, a forty thousand dollar machine you got two of them you got manufacturing for them you uh where well, you bring in raw goods and you you send it out finished product out the door and um this thing like i said you can go um, I, I got it figured out where you can actually come in at a cheap price buy the uh buy the building get the building up and running uh a lot, most of probably 90 percent of the people ain't well, probably 90 percent of the people who watch appliance boot camp and buy the course are african americans uh you go back into our community buy those properties uh, instead of us always waiting for somebody else to come in and and, and 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 buy the property and build up the community and stuff and then we cry later about gentrification and about how we wish we had bought it earlier I, I i can show you how to do that because that's exactly what i've done and you can actually build it up you can buy two buildings um you can buy one for your appliance repair business if you go into an underserved neighborhood you might not be able to do appliance repair but you know how to uh, flip appliances, so yeah, you can you can you can buy two buildings like I did. Uh, I have a, a school in one, and I have this uh, ice cream parlor in the other. Instead of you, what you call uh, having a school, just flip appliances. Uh, they they buy they buy the, in an underserved neighborhood. You make just as much money flipping appliances as you can um, uh, repairing appliances. Because uh, that's what they're looking for. They ain't giving no fix. They they want to buy something uh, for two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars rather than getting it repaired. Um, you could actually go out and buy tractor trailer loads of used appliances and fix them and, and sell them out that storefront. And at the same time, uh, that appliance repair business will get, uh, which can support this ice cream parlor business for about a year or two. Um, in an underserved neighborhood, this thing will kick out. Uh, the first year, you're gonna do probably about three, three, four hundred dollars during, uh, during the weekday. On the weekend, you you probably get up about seven, about six or seven hundred dollars on the weekends um, in the underserved neighborhood. First starting off, the next year is going to double. You're going to do about five or six hundred dollars per day during the week, and you'll kick out uh, about a thousand dollars or more on the weekend. And you just keep keep building it and keep going every year. It doubles. Um, people I talk to who have been doing this uh, uh, ice cream parlor and they've been doing it uh, six to 10 years, they're doing $6,000, $7,000 a day 
out of that uh, out of these little small ice cream parlors. And I have no doubt in my mind, eventually we're going to get here. Uh, the thing of it, I own I own the building and everything. I own the building, all the equipment you see, everything you see here, um, is totally paid for. Same thing with the um, with the actual appliance repair business. Um, not appliance repair, but the uh, boot cap uh, that you see over there. Everything over there is paid for. That's my actual workshop. Um, I like it. I do a class once a quarter. In between the classes, that's my workshop. Uh, uh, I go there and I work on equipment and, and work on stuff and as my dad would say, pill around in, uh, in my retirement and I love it. Um, several people have asked could they uh, rent the building. They want. They say, you're not using it, you know, cut, half, cut it in half, <laughs> let me get the front half and you keep the back half for your classroom. I'm like, nah, I don't, I don't want to rent it uh, because that's, that's, my, that's my sanctuary. That's where I go um, to, for my workshop to work on stuff and um, it makes it makes great money <laughs> through the appliance boot camp, but I don't, I don't care about foot traffic and people coming in because I make a lot of money um, out of that building. Uh, so you can do the same thing too. Uh, people who are up there in, in New York City and places like that, uh, and you don't have no property, you don't have no land, just come down south uh, to, to one of the underserved neighborhoods that have taken the course, buy you a piece of property, uh, you can you can even go downtown in some of these areas and uh, and, and buy a two-story building. Put you a, 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 a house upstairs. I'm gonna show you what uh, Adele and them done uh, next uh, right down uh, right down the street. I'm gonna let Sergio show me his too. What those buildings I had down there? Uh, I didn't own the one Adele had, but I owned the one Sergio had. I'm gonna let you see what they done to those upstairs in those uh, in those buildings. And you can do the same thing. And you can have one building where you, uh, you you do your ice cream. You have the other one where you do your appliance repair. And you own it. You own it. And like I say, uh, that's why I had to switch it up. Because what happened with when when JT and I done uh, done this appliance boot camp, we didn't know really what we were doing. We didn't know uh, the uh, the uh, potential of it. Uh, we went for a call. We just, we just stepped out there and just kind of kind of done it as we went, and uh, and we we cleared we, we cleared million a million dollars out of that uh, appliance boot camp, uh, uh, doing that especially during the, the pandemic. Um, I don't know how. I'm, I'm, yeah, JT cleared a million out of that. Uh, I don't know if he cleared a million directly out of appliance boot camp. But from online and all that stuff, I, I'm almost positive. I know he cleared a million uh, once he started uh, uh, doing the affiliates and stuff. I know he cleared a million out of it. Uh, so we didn't we didn't even know what we were doing, and we, we cleared a million out of, out of that uh, appliance boot camp. Uh, so now here it is. Now I, I found a, uh, I got another one. Uh, I got another one that uh, just as powerful as a, a appliance boot camp. And when you combine when you combine the two of them, uh, it, it is crazy what you can do when you combine them. And it doesn't take a long time. It takes you about three to five years to get your appliance repair business stable, where it's kicking off enough cash where you can go come find this uh, uh, a piece of property. And then from there, it takes this uh, ice cream parlor about three to five years before it become a monster. And uh, you can you can actually then uh, really really. Uh, create generational wealth and separate your family uh, from from. Uh, from uh, <laughs> it, it, it just, it just, it's crazy what this thing can do. I can't put it in words. So that's what I've done. I've reached out and um, I've told, uh, uh, talked to people and say, hey, uh, I got another winner and I got another one. In, I got another one in in the um, in the uh, in the chamber. So I got this. I, I, well, I got one in. I got this one in the chamber. Uh, old fashioned ice cream. I got this one in the chamber, but I got another one in, uh, as they say, the clip or the magazine. I got old fashioned kettle corn coming right back behind it. And I said, hey, uh, we got a chance to, chance to make another run. And this time we know what we're doing. You know, we, we, could, we, could, we, could, we could do pretty good here. Because not only are we, uh, do I have the actual, uh, how to run the business part of it, I can tie the real estate into it. I can tie those uh, containers into it. Uh, so with that, it makes it it makes it totally different. Because uh, now we're putting a hard asset into it. So now if you come and you get the appliance boot camp and you get that up and running and get it going, if you ain't got enough money 
to come out and, and, and pay uh, cash for these buildings and stuff. Go run your appliance repair business. For about three years, you have enough cash. Then you go buy you a building, buy you a vacant lot. Um, I have the shipping containers. Uh, if you go buy the vacant lot, we got the shipping containers. that we. Uh, I got the engineering drawings and everything uh, set up, ready to go. I'm building that out. And uh, you can just drop a shipping container on, 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 on that thing. Uh, I got one of my uh, cousins, I was talking to him this weekend. He does a lot of the restaurant stuff. He's interested in um, getting a shipping container, dropping ice cream over in uh, Richmond, Virginia um, on, on, a, um, on, a, on a lot he has. Um, so it works, it works. So that's why we had to uh, break it out. Uh, I, got, I got a chance for maybe one more run. I'm 50 years old. I got a chance for maybe another run for about 10 years. Uh, so uh, with that one, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna line them up, and we're gonna see where it goes. And if they if nobody buys it, who cares? <laughs> uh, I'm good. I, I'm totally good. Uh, I'm happy. Uh, I'm having a great time. I want everybody to be have this life. You know, retired at 50, and you didn't. Um, I didn't have to go get. In, uh, I didn't have to go work for the government. I didn't have to uh, work for the military. Uh, I didn't have to go get on disability. No, I'm not no. No, I ain't have to do none of that. And uh, I'm able to get out at 50 um, and uh, and and enjoy this life. Uh, I was talking to my mom earlier today, and she said, "You really enjoying this?" I said, "Yeah, I am." <coughs> and she said, um, uh, "I told her I said I, I'll be down there uh, starting in September. Uh, I come down there every other week." She said, "For what?" I said, "Well." The ice cream season die off and um if i'm not traveling i'm gonna come see you one week and then i'll go see my in-laws the next week just to just to do things and man she got happy <laughs> she was like yeah i need you to do this 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 <laughs> she started rambling off all the stuff she wanted me to, to get done for her uh, but that's what uh, that's what this does it allows me now to go down spend time with my in-laws with my mom uh they're getting older help them get stuff up around their house that they can get taken care of, uh, you know, that type of stuff. And I want you all to be able to do the same thing. Not only that, I get to come here uh, today. I actually I actually spent time working on my buildings. Uh, we have a, a ice cream boot camp coming up in a, uh, about two weeks. I got another uh, appliance boot camp coming up. So that's my thing now. I'm getting everything in the shop. And um, in this uh, ice cream parlor, everything in the actual uh, uh, appliance boot camp. Everything is getting back the way it should be. Everything is in order uh, so we can give you all world-class training uh, because uh, the stuff that we're going to put forward um, the next couple of, uh, coming up this year and the next year after that, if this take off, um, it's going it's gonna, to it's gonna be great. It's going to be great. And we, we need it. Uh, we need it because what's happening, um, we're in a bad shape. <laughs> Yeah, uh, if you don't, if you if, if you don't think we're in a bad shape as African Americans, you are crazy. Last week, uh, last Friday, uh, I went to an actual award ceremony. Uh, we done uh, we done a award ceremony uh, for uh, I'm not gonna call it. We done a worse award ceremony for for a summer camp, and um, and what we what they decided they were gonna give uh, the winners um bicycles new bicycles and you know um they gave them the bicycles and the kids don't know how to ride bicycles uh it was uh they one kid one kid got the bike and was crying we thought this that the kid was crying because they were happy they got the bike she was crying because she didn't know how to ride it and she was afraid of it and she ended up giving them the bike away <laughs> because she didn't know how to ride it to, it, it was so bad when we started asking kids, you know how to ride a bike? Uh, um, out of all these Af uh, us African American kids, I don't think I don't think five kids out of about sixty knew how to ride a bike, and probably three of those were Hispanics that knew how to ride. But we didn't know, we don't know how to ride bikes anymore, and it was so bad that they uh, uh, they actually uh, uh, had customers that want to come in. It uh, it was so bad that uh, they reached back to me afterwards um, and, uh, and told us, uh, asked me would I be willing to, to help uh, do like a, 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 a course on teaching kids how to ride bicycles. 
Well, honest. That's that's what they reached out to me and said, hey, uh, do you mind uh, putting together a, a course uh, and, and and teach these kids how to ride bikes? Because it, it's ridiculous. They uh, they don't know how to even ride bikes. And and that, that I told them, I said that's a that's a failure on our community, uh, where uh, you got a whole community nobody know how to ride bicycles. And but I see all these grown men riding bicycles every day, not for exercise. That's the only that's the only form of transportation they got. So the kids don't have a bike to ride because the men riding the bikes, and uh, they're not teaching the kids how to ride. And you got all these people now uh, finding out they're not going to get towards retirement. You know, I, I could have told them that you know, they weren't going to happen. The way they don't work these companies, especially like Yellow Trucking and all that, they don't work there for the last 30 years and now getting close to retirement, and they're finding out that they're pulling the rug out from under. Well, it was, it was bound to happen. Um, it's not like the old days where you, 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 you would start working at 20 years old, and then um, at, in 30 years you could retire at 50, and um, you was only expected to live another six or seven years. <laughs> Uh, and you, uh, and you, you be dead. So they didn't have to worry about paying you that long. But now with the technology that they have and the, the advances in medical, uh, in medical, uh, you retire at 50, you live to be 90. So now you spend more time on the pension, taking, taking money out of the, uh, taking money out than you do putting it, than you did putting in. And not only that, they realize that they don't, with technology, they don't need as many people. So they just need a way to, to lay everybody off so they can come back and restructure and have maybe a third of the people that they had running that. Because uh, you don't need that many people. The way technology is now, um, if you, could, you could be a, uh, an appliance repair. You could be a one-man shop and make $250,000 a year and, and don't even work hard. Don't, that's not working weekends. <laughs> and uh, you can make 100 and some thousand just, and, and be home before 12 o'clock. So, uh, you don't need you don't need a lot of uh, you don't need nobody working all day uh, doing it. You can you can get you two. Uh, you can have two technicians and you what them call and you uh, you have two technicians and two technicians will bring you three hundred thousand. You know you can pay them. Uh, you can make 120, 120 to one hundred fifty thousand per tech. And you don't even have to do anything. I mean you ain't got to do nothing. But but uh, I mean just maybe an uh, hour worth of work a day. And make three hundred thousand, send it home. I've done it uh, since I was like thirty. That's what I've done, and didn't have to didn't have to uh, didn't have to move or do anything. Uh, so you uh, you know, so you don't need that. They don't need that many people in the workforce, and you don't have to be out here trying to kill yourself. You no, know, you only get one life that I know of. Uh, so this is the only time you're gonna get a chance to come around through here, if, uh, if uh, I believe. Maybe it's different, but uh, you gotta have some time to enjoy yourself. Um, and, um, and, 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 and see everything this world has to offer. There's more to it than just going out here working. It'll get to a point, the money ain't going to be, ain't going to be enough to move you. It's going to be, um, being, being able to, to, to build something, to leave your legacy here. Uh, that's what you love. That's what I love here now. I love coming here and, um, and I'm, what's it called? The whole day today, I'm here fixing everything. I'm not fixing it for me because I, I, I'm good. I'm thinking I'm gonna. I, I'm telling my wife we got to get all this stuff fixed because something happened. Uh, we don't want to leave it on our kids and stuff to, to try to figure it out. We got to get all this stuff figured out and fixed and everything. Uh, all the ends button up so the kids don't have to worry about it. And so, uh, so that, that's what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about my grandkids gonna be able to come in here one day and be able to uh, to, to run this ice cream parlor. Uh, Cause that that's that's what I'm building it for for them to be able to come here and uh, this thing just keep going and don't it don't just stop with me and uh, you know and people talking about now a recession coming and this and that if it is I don't know because uh, I'm already um, I'm four or five years right now I'm four or five years ahead uh, so I'm not working for right now <laughs> uh, I'm act if that makes sense I'm actually working four or five years in advance the stuff I'm doing now. And I'm, 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 I'm planting my crop and stuff to come up in four or five years. So that's why I keep telling you, I got about two or three more years here, and this thing going to crack. This thing going to be doing six, $7,000 a day. So that's why I'm getting, the, getting everything here taken care of. So for when that comes, I'm not sitting here worrying about uh, uh, if it's, there's a recession and stuff. It, 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 I'm, I'm past, 
Yeah. I've been past uh, 2023. I'm, I'm, I'm in 2028 right now, uh, getting that taken care of. So 2023 don't bother me because I, I prepared for this a long time ago. So it don't bother me. So uh, I, that's why I don't, it doesn't bother me. I'm, I'm putting stuff together now for five years from now. And I want you all to be able to do the same. And you all have seen uh, the, uh, the trans, the me the, 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 the trans, the transgression, I guess that's what we call, from coming into here, the building totally tore up in less than three years. We we built it, I built it with my hands, put it back. That's another thing too. Let me tell you this: if you all gonna do that, don't uh, don't can't do it like I done it years ago. Put all that stuff on YouTube and all that. Because what happened now, the the town, the inspectors, and all that stuff, they watch YouTube and they watch and see what you're doing. And if they think you're doing something, they pull no permit. They coming into your building. <laughs> no, they 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 not gonna do. They not gonna kick the door in. But the, they got a way of getting in. The way they get in, they say we need to check. Um, they have maybe uh, maybe have the fire the fire inspector come in and say, hey, we need to check the fire extinguishers. See if they up to date. So they come check the fire extinguisher. And when they walking through, they look at it, see what you're doing. If they see you doing something, they gonna go tell the inspector. Hey, you 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 doing something here? You, you shouldn't be doing. They're gonna tell the inspector. Then the inspector coming. So uh, be careful if you're gonna be putting stuff uh, uh, on on uh, on the actual internet. Be careful because uh, it, it, they, that's that's what they're doing now. They look at, and also if you they, they look and see if you working uh, if you working late at night. Uh, if you working late at night, then they think you're doing something too, and they're gonna come by and check you out. Um, uh, I, I noticed that. Um, I can't say for sure that happened to me, but it was a coincidence. I put something on Facebook, and then I said, okay, they popped up. Okay, that, that's, I, I put it on YouTube, and I said, okay, they popped up. But then I was working, uh, uh, matter of fact, I was working real uh, late at night. Uh, we had to get this freezer in um, uh, before we opened. So I went and got it on Monday, and we closed on Monday, and I had to get it in here before we open back up on Tuesday. So my son and I, we worked here until about 12, 31 o'clock that night. The next morning, <laughs> somebody came in and we need to check this and, and see what's going on. Uh, I, I just put a freezer in. Oh, okay, we just making sure everything's good. All right, <laughs> so be careful if you putting that stuff on YouTube and stuff now. Just like uh, the feds and uh, and the police looking at, the, uh, listening to rap and looking at Vlad TV, they're gonna be watching your YouTube channel and they think that uh, you're doing something and you ain't went pulling no permits and stuff. They coming into the door and they're gonna uh, they're gonna check you out. Uh, so, but uh, getting back on uh, on on, uh, on on topic, you know, go buy go go get out there and, and start your appliance repair business. From there, you buy this uh, you buy your building and like I say, don't even I, I wouldn't even look to rent. I would go to go to the go to the hood buy you a building <laughs> go to the hood and buy because it's not going to be the hood for long because people can't afford to, to buy anything and, and all the new houses they're building they build on they, they built the rent so they can't afford to buy those go buy you something in the hood uh go buy your building in the hood once you get that because people always say oh brick and mortar is gone everything's going on the internet and stuff uh and people wanted to do that they wanted to get away from uh having an actual business and they want to just do that brick, uh, do the um, internet. It's still money to be made in the brick and mortar, but it ha your brick and mortar business have to have a soul. It can't be just something uh, that's just cold you put out there and, and don't want to, don't want to, uh, don't want to have no part of it. Just that people are just gonna come and patronize. It. No, you gotta put it out there. It has to have a soul. You gotta tell a story, and you, uh, um, you gotta make people connect with it. And you gotta get out there and, and, and do uh, and, and put it out there in the community so people know. Uh, so everywhere you go, and you, uh, if they have something that I can get into in the, around this area, I'm there with that ice cream or me. I'm there. I'm there so people can see me and come back around uh, and ask me uh, to do stuff uh, with my ice cream. Uh, so you got to get out there and become a part of the community, and then you can actually help build the community up. Uh, so I'm gonna read a couple of stuff we got in the chat, and then I'm getting out of here. Uh, it's uh, almost. Yeah, it's almost 8.30, so I'm getting out of here. All right. Uh, I don't think I can show these things. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read some of them. 
I think they used to be able to show these things on, um, on, uh, I think you used to be able to show them on, no, I can't show them. Oh, I wish I could show them. So we're going to read some of the stuff we got going on. Uh, Sonia, Sonia, hey, Mike, if I already started, I know I can restart again. Can you send me info how to restart again? Uh, what are you um, What are you talking about? Uh, hey, Mike, if I already started, I know I can restart again. Can you send me info? Uh, tell me what you're talking about restarting, uh, Sonia. Uh, Sonia, Sonia, I, I don't know quite what you're talking about. The colors. Mike, what you do, uh, What do you think about starting a shop in Fayetteville? Yeah, uh, you, you, you're talking about ice cream shop or appliance repair shop. Either one of those work. <laughs> uh, matter of fact, um, Andrew down there ran a, 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 a appliance, a appliance, flipping appliance place down there for years <laughs> and years and years. He, he actually, he actually, uh, uh, it was called Three J's. Andrew, Andrew ran his shop down there. His daughter uh, fixed appliances with him. I think his son. Not only that, but he actually uh, he used to teach appliance repair at Fayetteville uh, Technical Community College. Uh, so yeah, Fayetteville is a great place uh, to uh, to run appliance repair or to do ice cream parlor. Ice cream parlor works everywhere. Um, I'm gonna go out to one um, in the middle. Ice cream parlor works everywhere. This past weekend, um, uh, I, I, I I went to a, God knows I was tired. I was supposed to go drive some community, but I was too tired Sunday. And plus, we had made enough money. I said <laughs> I'm good. But uh, this past weekend, one of the best things I've done. Uh, this was the second time uh, me taking ice cream to our family reunion. Uh, our family reunion was Saturday. Uh, early Saturday morning, I had to do a back to school uh, 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 event. So I told them, I said um, I'm not going to be able to get there uh, until later, um, about 4:30, 5 o'clock, uh, before I could get to my family reunion because. From 11 to 2, I was doing the um, I was doing the back to school event in Kenley, and then I left there and um, and went to uh, uh, went back home. And I'm, I'm about two hours away from my hometown, uh, but you know uh, what we call uh, they called me three times on the way down there. What time you get here? Everybody want ice cream. What time you come? Hey, I'm about 15 minutes away. I'm 30 minutes. I'm first, I'm 30 minutes away. Uh, 30 minutes. Where are you at now? I'm, I'm up here at a place we call Danny's store. I'm at Danny's store going around the curb. Come on, we waiting on you. Man, when I got there, I, I, I turned the I turned the music box on. And um and we had to serve ice cream three times. Uh, so when I got there, we opened up everybody. I, I served everybody ice cream. Um, after that, uh, about maybe 30 minutes later. Uh, some people say, uh, "Are you still serving ice cream?" Yeah, I, I can. We, I, I, I still serve ice cream. Can you get me? Uh, I want to get so and so. Okay. So as soon as you walk back, in, as soon as I walk back in the trailer, I look. There's a line again. Everybody coming back, <laughs> getting ice cream again. Uh, so I, I went through and served everybody again, and then the same thing. Um, about time for everybody to go. Uh, people say, uh, uh, "Can we get some ice cream to go?" Yeah, no problem. <laughs> and to serve everybody again. Uh, then my daughter took one of the containers. She, she was like, "I'm just can I get a container to take home? Go, go ahead." So everybody loves the ice cream. Every, um, so you can you can do it everywhere. That's in the middle of nowhere. And my family is, and, and, and friends in my community, they always tell me, "Man, open this up down here, man. We need this down here." So they always want me to open one up there. Whenever I come, I have to bring ice cream for everybody. I, 89 Dr. Funk. What up, Mike? Gotta love uh, mothers. Mine do me the same way when I visit. Yep. Yep. Mr. O, technology got them in the house. Yeah, technology got them in the house. And plus, you know, teaching a kid how to ride a bike, you know, it, uh, we used to laugh in my community. Uh, it, we had like four or five different sets of kids that grew up in my community. And um, I remember I was part, my kids were part of the first sets in the community because we were one of the first families to move in. But uh, we were what we call, uh, the, the men that was there with me, uh, all our kids, you know, on Saturday mornings after school, you know, you running up and down the street, uh, holding the back of that seat, <laughs> trying to teach them how to ride the bike. And then once they get finished riding, maybe four or five years later, 
you see the next set of dads you know, running down the street and we'd be laughing at them. Yeah, man, I remember those days. So you, I got to see four or five um, editions of, of fathers teaching their kids how to ride bikes. And you got you got to get out there with them and you running up and down the, uh, the street behind them and it takes time. Uh, fortunately, I think the moms don't have time to do it. They work in two or three jobs to do it. And, um, and it's easier just to give them the, uh, the, the PlayStation and let them go do that. And then a lot of times, they're too afraid for the kids to be outside, to, uh, to be hanging out, riding the bikes and stuff. Uh, so they don't, they don't get to outside and play. It's sad. It's sad. The coldest. I bet the mamas didn't YouTube search how to ride bikes. <laughs> Yeah, it's um, uh, it's it's much more called. It's not so much the moms, um, uh, cause I don't I don't recall. I don't recall no, nobody in our neighborhood mom having to teach them how to ride bikes. It was all the fathers. Um, me growing up, uh, didn't no moms teach us how to ride bikes. It was our father put the training wheels on. Then you get time take them time you take those training wheels off, and uh, he give you he give he give you a, a couple of couple of weekends and you be riding your bike so a lot of that stuff um, is not is not so much the mom it's more an indication of the fathers not being around same thing like they say you know look with the um, baseball baseball used to be really big in our community uh, african-american community now you find you, you hardly ever find uh, 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 african-american guy playing basketball baseball not like they used to be that was the number one sport for us but to play baseball no, somebody got to get out there and play catch with you. And somebody got to start hitting some ground balls and stuff to you um, um, and, and get you right. Uh, so if the father's not there, the moms ain't going to be out there much playing catch and hitting you no ground balls. Uh, so it's much easier to give you a soccer ball and tell you go kick it or uh, give you a football uh, or, uh, or uh, basketball and you, you and your friends go out there and figure it out. Um, and it costs a lot more money. You know, you only got about one ball uh, for soccer, football, and basketball. Uh, for uh, baseball, everybody got to have a glove, got to have a bat. So uh, it's, it's more expensive uh, to play. So when the fathers left, a lot of the baseball stuff left with them. And you got to have somewhere to play at. And they ain't nowhere to play. Uh, ben Nash, you're looking out on that heads up. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm finding that they are. Uh, I'm not... That's me believing that. I could be wrong, but it, it, it seemed like a coincidence. Uh, and then uh, I, I've heard some other people say too. They uh, they kind of try to make some. Uh, they, they 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 raised their voice at one time too many, and they had the same thing happen to them. The inspector showed up at the place. Uh, Stoker reviews. What's up, ABC fam? Hey, how you doing? My apps. What's up, Mike and ABC fam? Hey, how you doing? Stoker reviews. Last day for that bundle. Get it before it's too late. Yeah. Um, yeah, you need to uh, go ahead and get the bundle um, because, like I say, going forward, everything's going to be split out. The prices are going to go back up. So to, uh, starting tomorrow, you won't be able to get the bundle. Um, I'm not I'm not going to do any more uh, payment plans and stuff like that either. Um, I've done it for $50 and stuff. And with the $50 payment plan, uh, you have more chargebacks and everything than you, uh, than you can believe. Uh, so it, does, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't help, and people won't buy uh, the fifty dollar ones either. Um, I, I've had more sales in the last week than I probably had in the last uh, in, the, in the last two months combined. Because um, now that's coming off, and some people have been watching for three years. They told me I've been watching it for three years. I'm gonna go ahead and buy. You no, know, I think if, if if you if you have it like that, where it's, uh, it's such a so cheap and so affordable, people don't have no urgency. I can do it anytime. Uh, but uh, you gotta, you gotta get it where you gotta make the people go for it. And we got, we gotta train our people to take advantage of that stuff, and not looking for everything to be so much of a uh, lowering the bar, making a handout. But that was one of the things too. This past weekend at the back to school event, um, I gotta be careful. God, I gotta be careful. But th that was one of the things that some people, uh, you know, they had a back to school event. And they have they have food trucks, and that this is one of the reasons the food trucks don't like to come to events that uh, we do as African Americans. So you got these food trucks, you got two food trucks, and you got two trucks of desserts. Um, it doesn't bother me much. Uh, uh, like I say, um, it don't take much for me to make my money 
And if I uh, if I don't sell everything, I can bring it back to the store. And I knew I was going to. Uh, the other thing too, I knew I had another event, and I didn't want to go back to the to the store and have to restock up. So I was okay. But what they done? You had two food trucks, uh, a lemonade truck, and you had two frozen desserts. Well, the food trucks they have to prep all that food and get that stuff ready to come out there. They get out there. Guess who they have? They uh, they have McDonald's show up and give free food out. So, so the food trucks, I said, why in that world you got me coming out here uh, and, and doing this and you got McDonald's coming out giving out, giving away free Happy Meals and stuff. And so that's why they don't like to come to our events because there's no money to be made and we, we give giving it out. You know, uh, I guess the, the kids and stuff liked it, but the food trucks don't make no money because you're giving away the food. So then when it's time uh, to have an event, you can't get food trucks and stuff to come because they say there ain't going to be no money to be made. Uh, so that's why I say I'm, I'm, I'm getting, um, uh, we're getting the price where it should be. If they buy it, I don't care. <laughs> if they do buy it, it's going to be well worth it. They, um, they, um, they'll be able to uh, you know, come to a place where you know, got everything here. And you've seen me do everything and all, uh, it's all documented. You know, and um, unlike uh, other places you all go and, uh, and, and spend your money, uh, you know, I, I, I am an actual entrepreneur. I do it. And um, I, 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 I can tell you, uh, I, I show you how to do it. And y'all see me do it. Not just with the appliance repair, y'all see me build this right here. Look, this thing that y'all looking at, I don't think y'all realize, uh, if you just coming along, I don't think y'all realize it's been less than three years that we put this together. I mean, this this thing, the roof was falling down, <laughs> everything. And we, we, we built it right in front of y'all eyes with, with these hands right here. I, I built this thing and uh, and got it to now where not only are we uh, putting out a great product, we're going we're going to compete. Not not just uh, uh, we're just not competing uh, with uh, with uh, with local uh, this and that. We're going at the best, you know, the, uh, the last competition we had, uh, um, that ice cream parlor, um, they, they're what we call uh, They're big time. You know, right now, they, they, they have this magazine um, that goes around North Carolina magazine where they, they do polls and see, you know, what's the best in the state. And, and right now, they, they, they might even win it. They might be in the top two or top, they know they're in the top three. But they might even win it, best ice cream in the state of North Carolina, and uh, and, uh, and we were, we were fortunate enough to go there, and uh, and we beat them, um, and and uh, and it wasn't it wasn't no uh, beat them, and, and somebody it was a charity vote, and we uh, I, I just brought more people. No, we went to their place and was totally blind. Didn't nobody know who ice cream was whose, and we was able to compete and beat them. And that just goes to show when we're properly funded, um, we got the right amount of capital, we got the right equipment, and everything's on an even playing field. We can't compete with anybody, um, and that's why that's why I want to show you all. You can, we can compete with anybody. So we came in and we uh, we, we, we we beat them. Um, we beat them, and so uh, so we're, we're 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 beating people uh, the the best of the best. And people have been doing it for years and years, uh, and so y'all see me build that up uh, you didn't see me say I'm gonna start a business and then halfway through when it when it when you hit the hit the when, when the honeymoon stage is over with you no know, everybody when it's, when it's first starting a business and you're doing the research and you get the LLC and, and you do going to get your first contracts and you're trying to figure it out oh that's fun everybody loves that but when you get into the middle of it and the honeymoon over with then you can see who's the real entrepreneur the real entrepreneur knows how to uh, how to uh, make that thing do what it's supposed to do um uh, the real entrepreneur don't back away from it. uh you know what it takes to build a business you know what you have to do you know it's going to be hard going in um you know you're gonna you, you're not gonna make no money probably the first uh first year or two you know you uh uh you know that you're gonna you're gonna have setbacks and stuff and you watch McCall. you don't back away from it because you know you, you thought it was gonna be all easy peasy and stuff no, you stick with it. You go get great counseling. You get you go to people who've been doing it ten years or more. You pay them to show you how to do it. 
and then from there you get you get past the hard part. Once you get past the uh, get past the wall, I said, then you're good. You saw you saw me do that. Look at how many other people are going to show you how. To, I'm going to show you. I'm going to build a business from scratch. I'm going to start this business, and they 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 falter out, and then they they put it on uh, everything else. You know, oh, I got bad information. Well, you went and got it. <laughs> you the person who went and got the bad information. Uh, the economy uh, take it. That industry is bad. No, no. That's your job to go figure out where the money is to be made in it, in that industry. And you go out there and you figure it out. And that's what that's what, uh, that's what we do. And um, and you you see me do that. And this is another thing too. Uh, I have a degree in, in electronics and computer technology. Y'all have never said, never heard me say, oh, you need to listen to me because I got a degree <laughs> in electronics. Uh, when I'm talking about appliance repair and stuff. That, my degree don't mean anything. Uh, I tell you, uh, what's it called? If you want to check that control board, you check the, you get the schematic, you check the power coming into the board, and you check the power going out. And that'll tell you if you got bad control board. You get that meter and you you, uh, you put it on continuity test and you, or you put it on <laughs> the terminals for that thermostat, that tells tell you if you got a good thermostat or not. It, don't really, it doesn't matter if I got a degree or anything. It don't matter. I'm telling you how to do it. I learned that through my degree, uh, but uh, I don't. I don't come tell you. Oh, I got a degree. You need to listen to me. How many times we, as appliance repair people, we we see it every day. We go to somebody's house. Oh, I'm an engineer. I know that ain't what's wrong with it. We know they don't know. They don't know how to read a voltmeter. They can't read schematics. But they think because they're an engineer that they uh, that they know how to uh, fix stuff. Uh, just because somebody has a degree. Uh, PhD or anything don't mean they they efficient at what they do. Um, and you learn how to uh, your, you, you learn your craft by actually doing it and showing people you can do it. Uh, you all don't say, oh, uh, uh, you need to listen to Mike uh, Sneed about uh, electronics and, and appliances because he has a degree in electronics. Nobody cares about that because what I tell you all to do works. Uh, don't nobody say, oh, uh, you need to listen to Mike Sneed about uh, about ice cream uh, because he, he studied culinary and this and that. No, I ain't studied no culinary. Uh, I, I, I go to the, uh, uh, I, no, I don't study, I ain't study culinary. Uh, I go, uh, I learn how to do this um, by going next door to those, uh, those women that's at that sewing factory who've been cooking for the last 40, 50 years. No, <laughs> so I go over there and take my ice cream over there to them at lunch, and I listen to them, and they tell me how to get that ice cream right. Because they've been doing it. You know, these, these older women in their 60s and 70s, they've been cooking forever, you know, for families. And they tell you how to get that, what you're missing in your ice cream. They can taste it and tell you what you need to add in there. And that's what I do. And I, I, that's the culinary school I go to. So people don't care, you know, he, uh, did you... Uh, you go to culinary school or uh, this and that? No, I don't care about that. They taste it. No, this ain't going to point. So that's the same thing. So if somebody going to tell you because they got a degree that they know what they're talking about, you already know they don't know what they're talking about. TPHP Walker. What's up, Mike? Uh, major transformation on those uh, businesses. Keep inspiring. Thanks, man. Thanks. Um, uh, yeah, it is. Uh, Sometimes I forget it's only been three years uh, when I walk in here. Because uh, when I walk in here, um, I gonna do. A, I, I gotta go get some of the old videos and and, and 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 bring them back up to date. Because you walk in here now and you see all of this. Uh, if you, it, it was a short period of time, very short period of time, when we came in here, and uh, and uh, and everybody said, "Man, I don't see you gonna be able to do it." <laughs> um, everybody told me, I don't, "I don't think you're gonna be able to do it." My mom told me that. Some of the alumni. I don't know if you're gonna make it, man. I don't. I don't know if you're gonna make it. Uh, but we, uh, we, 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 we got it up. We got it up and running. And so, um, and we here. We here. And it, is, it has became a staple in Johnston County, past Johnston County, where people now are, are talking about um, old-fashioned ice cream. You know, it past Johnston County. Um, I get calls every day from people um, uh, all across the United States about uh, our ice cream. Sonia, Sonia, I want to show respect for how far you have come. I met you at the cell phone repair with Ontario. Uh, you and I, uh, you and JT, I'm so proud of uh, you. Congrats and blessings 
on your success. Thanks. Oh, okay. Thanks. I, I appreciate that. Yeah, if you want to restart the, uh, uh, send me an email at callsmeetnow at gmail.com. I'll go back into Teachable and just send me an email and I can get you, get you started. I'll uh, start it back. Myron Webster, if you don't do nothing else, get the appliance course for the occasion uh, and keep your accountability. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Hey, what's going on, DCNF? Uh, ABC Mike, what's going on, fam? Uh, Stoker Reviews. It's not the money, Mike. Even if you gave away for free, they still wouldn't take it. Uh, they're too comfortable with the struggle. Yeah, I, I found that out. Um, some people are a lot more uh, comfortable. They, they they satisfy with just watching. But some people told me, I've been watching for three years, two or three years. I'm just going to get ready to buy. And I'd be like, why? <laughs> you no, know, matter of fact, um, I have what's call. Uh, what day was it? Saturday, 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 Saturday. Uh, I, I pulled up at uh, at the Bojangles in, in Clayton, and I get out the Bojangles. Now, when we first started the Applause Boot Camp, uh, I, I pulled up there, and it was, his, it was his brother there, and he asked me for some money. And I'm like, ah, come on, what are y'all here begging for? And he was trying to be, a, he was trying to preach to me, you know, about about the Bible and this and that. And, God bless them. I said, man, no, you know, I've even done a video on it. Man, that, i never seen the righteous forsaken or see baby bread. No, it ain't nothing biblical about what you're doing. Uh, you you out here just trying to scam, and, and, you know, uh, and it's embarrassing to see you out here doing this. Bring your butt down to my school. I'll let you go for free. i teach you how to uh, uh, repair appliances. You don't have to come out here and beg no more. I'm coming. I'm coming. He show up one day and doesn't, doesn't ever come back. Well, here it is three years later or four years later for that you know I come I, I stop up there at Bo Jangles and um and um he what's from call he comes up to my truck and I, I'm pulling the ice cream trailer and all that and he said uh you got you got uh two dollars man I look man you still begging <laughs> and he's like uh what I said you still down begging man it's been down four years oh uh, uh, Uncle White <laughs> I didn't recognize, yeah, man, it's four years and you still at Bojangles begging, man. You could have came to the class and, and, and been good. And, um, and he said, uh, what are you doing now? I said, this is ice cream. I, I have an ice cream uh, store too. I said, uh, here it is, four years later, you you still up here begging. And um, I don't, I, I don't, I don't built the school, built another business, and, uh, and you still begging. And um, I said, and he, he tried to tell me, the fact that he's still out there begging, God got him something planned. Man, I don't want to hear that mess, man. No, I ain't got no dollar, and I ain't buying you nothing to eat. <laughs> you going over there and ask somebody else for a dollar. I ain't doing it. But, yeah, uh, that, exactly, uh, he still was begging. Aiden and I got the phone. Uh, I bet the food trucks were heated. Uh, wasting the, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they were. They were. They were. But we don't realize that. We think we're doing something good. But you, you, you're not. You, 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 you're getting people. They're not going to want to come out and, and they say, no, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I could have been at another event. <laughs> I don't went and bought all this food. No, the food trucks are different than the ice cream. You know, wherever they, they prep, you know, they, they can't sell. That's, that that got to go. They got to get thrown away. Diamond Life. Man, I really want to jump into this. I'm 45. I have a dead-end job. What's keeping you from doing it? What's keeping you from doing it? Um, when I first got started in my appliance repair business, I was 20, I was 28, 27, 28. Um, I just got laid off, just built a house, just got married, just had a son. And uh, I started my appliance repair business um, in the middle of the dot-com burst and, um, and no job. I, you got a dead end job. I didn't, I didn't even have a job. I started my appliance repair business. And in three years, I was, I was out. I was retired. Uh, I was, pretty much what I'm doing now, I was doing then. I I, I got out the rat race in about three years. Um, I had I had subs working for me, and I was done. Um, so it don't take long to do it. So if you're 45, buddy, you can still retire by you 50. Um, doing this, you can you can you can retire by 50. You can easily jump in appliance repair, go hard at appliance repair for the next five years. Take your cash. Go buy your building downtown uh, in the underserved neighborhood. Take that uh, building. Put your ice cream parlor in it. Put you or you can flip used appliances in there. And then you, you out by 50, 51. Working like you want to work. 
you can pay for that building. And that building, uh, what retired person getting five hundred, six hundred dollars a day, every day? That, you can't live off of that. You got problems. You got real problems. You know, don't don't let all these people fool you about uh, you, you're gonna make a you a millionaire and, and you're gonna make a hundred thousand dollars a month and all that. Yeah, some people do. That's great, but I, I, I'm starting to realize they ain't doing it. They're not doing it. Uh, if you can if you can build you a small business that put five hundred dollars a day in your pocket, you you are good. You can do whatever you want to do. Trust me, you are good. You can do whatever you want to do. Uh, and you and you uh you no know, the, the thing I love about this ice cream too, don't nobody we don't open it till one o'clock. You know how uh this morning I was tired. No, I ain't gotta get up till ten o'clock. <laughs> And, then, and, 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 and and get it. I ain't got to be rushing and nothing. Uh, we close at 6. And you can close at 8. So you still close at a decent, decent time. You, you no, know, you, you, you can do this. You can do this all the way to your... Because you ain't... I ain't scooping. I got the... I make some of the ice cream, but I got another young lady that I'm teaching to make it. Uh, for the last two years, I didn't have to make the ice cream. I had trained a young girl who made all the ice cream. So I'm training another one now. Um... Uh, and so once I get my new ice cream uh, maker trained, I ain't got to make the ice cream. I just come in and make sure everything is good, put the money in the cash register, and then uh, I come back and take the money out the cash register. You know? So you do, uh, you, you, you can still retire with dignity um, and, and don't have to be worried about Social Security and all that stuff to take care of. You can get still get out by the time you're 50, run you a little small shop like this, Go sit out in front of your ice cream parlor, talk to people and stuff. Go do little events. You can have a great time with it. Okay. Anthony Mitchell. Hey, Mike, I enjoyed talking to you today. Uh, you are a good motivator. Okay, thanks, man. Thanks for calling. Uh, Sean C. Seeing that ice machine in person all back is huge. It's like a uh, uh, money-making break. Oh, thanks, Sean. Yeah, sorry I won't hear. Yeah, Sean came down from New York. He's passing through. And uh, I won't hear. Uh, I was actually going to my family reunion when he called. Uh, uh, Sonia, Sonia, I was intimidated by electricity, honestly. No, nah, I ain't nothing to be intimidated by electricity. Uh, You'd be good. Diamond Life, man, free offer to learn to trade. That's a blessing. Yeah, I offered him. He wouldn't do it. Uh, it's too easy to beg than to learn to trade. Yep, yep, beg. Kurt, the real solution is you need to stop going to both. <laughs> Every day, that's coming from Slick. Yeah, I do. I, I do need to stop. But I, I, everybody's telling me I lost weight because what happened uh, up until uh, up until this past season, uh, I didn't really do much. Uh, I, I, would, I would actually just go, uh, maybe work, uh, sit in front of that computer for about 30, 40 minutes, uh, go get Bojangles. I ain't do anything for, for about two years. Uh, from the uh, for about two or three years during the during the pandemic. Now, after I built the ice cream parlor, I didn't do anything for a year. I gained a lot of weight. But me now actually working again and stuff, uh, I actually have lost weight. Uh, everybody can tell me I lost weight. And so um, I'm still staying active. And now I've got my energy back. I was able to work all day today, not get tired. Uh, uh, so now I'm getting able to jump back into the actual container. I'm ready to go. Myron Weston, just got to put $25 aside a day for a month. And you got the course, an LLC, and a drill with the tools. Yep. Uh, Harbor Freight about to have a sale later this month with 30, 40% off the tools. Yep, no doubt. Quinn Hodge said, hey, Mike and ABC fam. Hey, how you doing, Quinn? Yep, it's now 8.53. I want to thank everybody for actually watching. Like I say, tonight, uh, is the, today is the last day. You go buy, buy that course because, like I say, after today, uh, we splitting everything off. Um, uh, you might see me uh, starting to promote it with a couple other different people, the new courses, uh, the way we're having it. Like I say, uh, I, uh, they, they have, uh, they done messed around, let me figure this one out. <laughs> they done messed around, let me figure this one out. Uh, I, 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 I got a, we got another, we got another hit. Uh, this right here uh, is it, something, I, I just can't put it into words what it, what it can do. Uh, it, 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 can, it, it, it can it can it can it can really really uh, create generational wealth out of you. It can really do it. It can really do it. If my son was able to uh, 
my son uh, had the capacity to uh, to run that cash register, and we didn't need nobody in here. Oh man, he, he would he would have. Oh my God, he 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 would he would have a great setup, a great setup. Uh, even now, he has a great setup. But if he was able, uh, if you were, if, I'm telling you, if you have some kids, it's not going to go to, uh, it's not going to go to college. But they have the capacity to, 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 to learn. To, you might not think they can do appliance repair, but if they have the capacity to actually come out and just work, uh, work this ice cream thing, you know, you, you, you in, in six or seven years, they, 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 they oh man, God, they have, they, 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 six or seven years, the money that they can make will be ridiculous. I'm telling you. And you all have the capability of doing it. When you all can go out there, not only do y'all have the, uh, the the capital to actually buy the building, y'all got the capital to keep it funded, and you got the skill to keep the equipment going and get the equipment at a discount so that they can get out there and learn, to learn it. And unlike other people, you know, it used to be uh, people would tell you, oh, you have to actually, uh, you had to have $150,000, $200,000 and just to start up an ice cream park. And then um, uh, Jeff Marco, uh, Tide Eye Jeff, he, he broke it down to where you could do it for less than $20,000. Uh, but that was with him, what he was doing, he was showing you how to rent the buildings and stuff. Um, with us, uh, I can, you, can, you can go out here and you can buy a, a, piece, of, uh, a piece of property uh, with a shipping container on it. And, and, and be up and going for less than 30 when you own the property <laughs> and all the equipment and everything for less than 30 and uh and that thing that thing will keep you off five to ten dollars a day uh every day of the week and so uh and, and it's just going to grow and get better and so i, I i'm able to, to show you how to do that but that's exactly what i'm doing and uh and i'm giving you an actual trade um, showing you how to actually run a business. So this is not, this is another, I'm not telling you how to run a business. I'm actually um, giving you step-by-step -step instructions how to actually build a business. Uh, now, appliance repair business doesn't require no uh, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 to start. Uh, now, appliance repair business, you can start that less than $1,000. And you start that, and then from there, you make the sacrifice for your kids and, you, and, and your wife and your daughters and your son and your grandkids, say, uh, this appliance repair, and y'all get ready. Uh, I'm gonna go out here and, and get in that van, and uh, we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a, we're going on a mission. I'm getting in this van, and um, I'm gonna make the money to go buy us a piece of uh, property to throw us a, 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 a restaurant in there, and we're gonna do ice cream. And this is it ain't far from owning. Uh, it ain't far from on you uh, going out buying you a Wendy's or a McDonald's or something. It ain't far. Uh, I was talking to JT. And JT was um, uh, doing some, uh, he was down in Miami or someplace. And he was talking to uh, some of the ice cream shop owners down there. And they're saying, you know, they're kicking the restaurant butts down there. Uh, they're saying they make more money than the restaurants do down there. And uh, so uh, it, ain't, it ain't much far off from you going out here saying, I'm going to go buy me a McDonald's or Wendy's or it, 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 it's equivalent or more than a Subway. Uh, saying, hey, I'm going to buy me a Subway franchise. Uh, that's that's what you're able to tell your family, and y'all gonna own the building, you're gonna own the property, you're gonna you're gonna own all the equipment, you know you and you you, you can't beat it, you can't beat it. So once again, I want to thank you all for watching. If you hadn't bought it, go to appliancebootcamp.com. Buy it. Uh, starting tomorrow, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be split off, no more bundles. I want to thank everybody who had bought it in the past. Because if it wasn't for you all, we would not have gotten to where we are now. Uh, you all put us where we are now. And, um, and uh, you all have gotten a great return on your investment. And going to keep on giving you all a great return. Because we have old-fashioned kettle corn coming right up. So the next, next business y'all will get is old-fashioned kettle corn. We've got that um, coming up uh, right behind this ice cream policy. Once again, thank you all for watching. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.